An important part of any type of video is subtitles and captions. Subtitles provide a translation of what's being said for those who don't understand the language, while captions are intended for the deaf and hard of hearing and notate important sounds like a knock on the door in addition to what's being said. To show you a demo of captions, I have a page here on the VideoJS website. Welcome to this week's episode of Explore California. Okay, so you can see the text appear at specific times in the video. Now, while captions and subtitles are important, they're not yet supported by any HTML5 browsers. What you're seeing here is using some pretty technical JavaScript built into the VideoJS library to make captions work. So if you need captions or subtitles now, you'll probably need to use a library like VideoJS. But captions and subtitles are in the plans for HTML5 video. And to make them happen, we'd use the track element. So I'll just show you how to do that now for future reference. First, we'll go over to our code. And we're now in the 2-08 folder for those following along in the exercise files. And to add captions, we would add a track tag after our source list. And then we need to tell it what kind of track it is. And in this case, it's a captions track. And then we need to provide the source file where the captions are. In this case, it's in our video assets folder. And podcast captions.vtt. And then we'll end that with a slash. Now, the vtt file is an example captions file I've created. And we can go look at it. It's basically a numbered list of captions that has the number of the caption, the time they should start showing, and the time they should finish showing, and what text should be displayed. The VTT format is still very new and being created. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out the web VTT page on the WhatWG site. You can see that here. So again, eventually we'll be able to add captions and subtitles easily, but for now, you would need to use an additional JavaScript library like VideoJS to make that happen. And I'll talk more about VideoJS and how to use it in another movie.